I'd like to make you aware of the 11 dangers of a mud levee. A lot of people don't understand that and possibly you're not aware of that. So there they are. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each one so you can understand the uh, dangers of mud levees. They have a lot of good points but they got a lot of bad points also. First one is anatomy of a levee. As you can see, there's a levee crest on the top. Outboard is where the water is at. And inboard, that's where you protect it at. This is what they call the toe. Now that's a description of what they call anatomy of a levee. Danger number one is overtopping. The water would rise up goes over the levee and it spills in the back. And that's why it does the damage and it just flow, flows over. That's the first danger. Second danger is overtopping, but with jetting. The higher it gets, it goes over it, and it forms like a waterfall. It slopes in the back, and it starts to destroy the back part of the levee, and to the down to the little toe, and then it so forth, and then it does its damage. That's what they call overtopping with jetting. Danger number three is internal explosion or piping. What that is, it keeps on pumping in here back and forth till it punctures the levee itself then it forms these little piping deals and as you can see that's a tremendous danger there. Number four is what they call surface erosion. That's the water goes back and forth back and forth and it gradually eats up a little crevice along the levee and that's what called erosion and the water starts going back up and down again. Number five is called sliding. That's why you got a storm surge when it comes in because these mud levees are just setting on another foundation of mud. That's mud on top of mud. And so as you can see in the dotted lines, when this pressure hits, and if there's not so much uh, attachment on the bottom, it can literally move a good chunk of this levee back. Number six is wave impact. That's self-explanatory. These waves come in and continuously bombard it and it eventually is going to go over top it or destroy the top layers of the levee. Number seven, structural impact. That's another one that's self-explanatory. You get a big boat or a ship or a barge, and when this hits mud, well, naturally it's going to do some damage. This is li liquefaction. This is what I call number eight, which is the worst one of all. As you can speed, it's a lot of small detachment that goes all over the place. It starts from the toe hole and then it goes to, to the back of the toe and then the toe wedges are starting to fall on both sides and then the, the water starts coming in from the top, it collapses and the whole le levee just falls. This is what they call liquefaction. Every levee is exposed to this kind of danger. And this is what they call piping and that's what they call seepage. You heard a lot about seepage. Well, the water will come in, the pressure's pushing down, they'll find a little weakness, might be an animal burrow or something, then they'll follow it all the way up, and they'll come out in the back, and that's why you see that seepage at. Number nine, that's what they call a tree. That's why they want to cut them trees down, because the roots are in the levee, and when the wind blows, it knocks the tree down, knocking a big chunk of the levee down, and then out of which it can flood. Number 11 is your slope failure. And that's self-explanatory. You might have a crevice over here, some animal burrows or what have you. And then when the water hits it so much, beating from the bottom, and when it overtops and going back and forth, well, it'll knock out that chunk. So there I described the 11 dangers of it. Let me back up over here. Now, there you see them all neatly going. Now, what project is there out there that can protect you to all of this. To my knowledge, that's none. But there is one. It's called Jim Boudreaux's Flood 11 Barrier Protection System. It will give you protection against the 11 dangers of a mud levee.